Several entertainment venues are requiring proof of COVID-19 vaccination or a negative COVID test to enter. News 4 Tucson's Shelly Jackson takes a look at some local venues and gives us an inside look at some of their newest COVID protocols. Requiring vaccination proof is part of a nationwide trend largely spearheaded by music and entertainment venues. So we have to think about the actors, the dancers, uh, the backstage personnel, the crew, the musicians, the front of house staff, the box office staff. There are a lot of people that come into play to make a two and a half hour musical happen on stage every night. And then you add in 2,500 patrons. We just want to keep everyone as safe as possible. Broadway in Tucson is one of several venues requiring proof of vaccination or a negative test to attend. Many musicians and productions aren't local, and concert promoters like Live Nation are updating COVID-19 protocols. Requirements were already implemented at this summer's Lollapalooza, and organizers say they had a 90% vaccination rate. Anticipating this, the Rialto Theater worked with other Arizona venues to implement their new protocol. We wanted to prep our audience and get them ready for what the future was going to look like uh, throughout when going to see live entertainment or sports, uh, sports uh, events. The Rialto has required masks and vaccine proof since September. We've seen lots of different responses. Uh, and it's very interesting. It's all over the place. It's not uh, it's not identified by genre of music or type of person. Uh, people just have strong feelings. And our goal is to keep people safe, keep our staff safe, our volunteers safe, our audience members safe. Tucson's Loft Cinema implemented its new policy a few weeks ago after conducting a survey of its members and consulting with other independent art houses. 80% Plus said that they would be more likely to come to the films at the loft if there were a vaccine mandate. Broadway in Tucson says this isn't a permanent policy. We plan on assessing every 30 days. So our hope is the numbers improve in terms of vaccination in Pima County. Be sure to check vaccination policies before you buy your tickets. Most venues have their COVID policy posted on their websites and you could be denied entry at the door. In the newsroom, Shelly Jackson, News 4 Tucson.